So I had a whole roll of toilet paper and a whole box of Kleenex in my underwear. Y'all, I hitchhiked. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, as y'all can see, I am in Homestead, Florida. If you saw my last vlog, I was at a wedding and I'm still here. It's Monday, going into Tuesday and I'll probably insert the clips to tell y'all why so I don't have to re-explain it. I'm still in Homestead. I was leaving, I checked out of my hotel and my car started saying coolant level, whatever, whatever. And I was like, what the freak? And went to the gas station. A guy stopped me and said, I can see your radiator is leaking. So I was like, not on my three-year-old vehicle, but it was. It's been just interesting. It's like a never ending, not vacation because it was very stressful, but now I'm okay. First thing that happened, obviously my car. Second thing that happened, freaking, I ran out of underwear. Usually I overpack, I put like the whole underwear drawer in my stuff. This trip particularly, I said, I am not gonna overpack. I don't feel like carrying all the stuff. I'm gonna bring exactly what I need and a little bit extra, but not overboard extra. Did that and now look at me. I had no draws, y'all. After my car got towed, I Ubered back to the hotel I checked out of and thankfully my boss at my job just decided to pay for it. I'm so grateful y'all because I don't know, I don't know what I would've done. Didn't get off work till 10, went downstairs to the little like food thing and had chips and M&Ms for dinner. My dealership calls me, I overslept. <laughs> I didn't hear the call. Finally, I'm able to speak to someone and they're like, oh, we're gonna take it to diagnostics. That was at eight, eight in the morning. So obviously, multiple people are involved with this situation now. So I'm getting calls and texts all day, like what's going on with your car, blah, blah, blah. I didn't find out anything until like four o'clock, which they tell me, y'all, get this, get this, get this, get this. They tell me that my car, Puff Daddy, was in a collision. So I'm like, where, collision where underneath my car is bent up and damaged and caused a leakage guess why I hit a raccoon on my way here I felt really bad and apparently raccoons can cause a lot of damage underneath so now it's now an insurance issue that the send an adjuster to my dealership I'm leaving I have to rent a car so now I have to leave my vehicle in homestead <laughs> All I've been doing is laughing about this, y'all, because what else do you do? I've already cried. Let's get into the draw situation, so I had no draws. So Karma gave me a tip, because I ran out of pads too, to wrap <laughs> tissue around the crotch area of your drawers. So I had washed some drawers in the sink with shampoo, hung them on the freaking AC unit, let them dry there, and then I blow dried them. Karma was having a conversation, y'all. She bumped into somebody. They talked for probably like five minutes. And the whole entire time, I was putting the entire roll of toilet paper in my drawers. So I had a whole roll of toilet paper and a whole box of Kleenex in my underwear. I'm like, I still need freaking drawers. I walked down the street to the stores next door and go to Five Below and got me a little outfit because I have no more clothes and some like snacks. And I'm like, I need to go to the Dollar Tree to find drawers. It's all the way across the parking lot. So I start walking across the parking lot in my flip flops, my jeans, and my entire roll of tissue in my drawers. I find like a little market, it starts sprinkling. So I'm like, oh my God, why? So I noticed this guy looking at me coming out of Planet Fitness. I'm just like, uh-uh. So I like crossed so I didn't have, so I could avoid him. So he's like, do you need a ride? And I was like, oh no, I'm okay. I keep walking, it starts pouring down i have on flip-flops i have on jeans i have a whole roll of tissue in my drawers it's a lot happening and there's cars coming there's no sidewalk it was just like becoming a really bad situation y'all i'm so shame i'm so shame if you're my family get off of this video because you're gonna be feeling some type of way about me doing this but i did y'all i hitchhiked he pulled up next to me and asked me again and i was like lord please just bless me, don't let me get taken or murdered. My hotel was literally right there, so I was like, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so I got in the freaking car, y'all. This is, yeah. He asked me, we chit-chatted for a minute and he ends up asking me on a date. 
but I'm not gonna lie, he was actually attractive. So I'm like, whatever, I'm not gonna, hopefully he never sees this. I doubt he would, but yeah, I'm not gonna do anything. Yeah, my nerves have been so bad, I have not eaten. All I've had is coffee. I really wish I had started vlogging this sooner, but I'll never forget this going to Joelle's wedding. Not just for the wedding, but obviously the after was, has been interesting. Look at this view. I have a view. I can see like this nice homestead neighborhood. If I wasn't on meds, I probably would have been devastated and having a meltdown. So we can be grateful for that. And now I know what's wrong with my car. I really be feeling bad about that. Like I felt really, really bad. I cried, I prayed for his soul. I felt so bad because I usually can avoid animals, but there was no way. Like there was no way for me to avoid it. I would have flipped my vehicle. And I've been stress eating these spaghettis. And it's been me and this flower, this beautiful arrangement from Joelle's wedding. I've been keeping it with me y'all. So I've been like, just traveling with the flower arrangement because it's I want it on my counter. It is so beautiful. Carmen, have you been living for our Monday? It is Monday. Oh my God, it is Monday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still mad at me and you today. I am so young. Yeah. So the guy moving my stuff ate an edible. He, he was the oldest man that was moving stuff. He's like 65. <laughs> Fell asleep. And then in the car, he fell asleep. And then after they moved all the stuff, I saw the, the guy, the other guy driving, he was smoking. And I told him to come back up to the balcony and they could smoke in the balcony. Well, the old man was just standing there not saying shit and just staring. And then the other guy was smoking and then I smoked with him. Like, I'm sitting there thinking like, damn, am I really smoking with the movers? <laughs> My air mattress has a hole in it, so I just fixed it myself. Bruh. Boy, but the good news is now I have some sort of plan about how the freak I'm about to get out of South Florida. I'll never forget the start of my 30th birthday month and <laughs> like the growth that's happened because so many people yesterday were like, Ebony, if you weren't on meds, you would seriously be freaking out. And I was not, I'll cry one time. And, the, and if y'all know me, I easily get frazzled and now I don't. Good now. I'm good. What you gonna do? Pray about it and move on. I gotta rent a car. I've never ever rented a car. Girl, they got some dumb rules. Like what? Usually, okay, so if you're using a credit card, they want a $200 deposit. And if you're using a debit card, they want a $500 deposit. And they hold it in your account until you return the car. Please tell me you got your credit cards with you. Either way, I'm about to be home for a $34 car. For a $34 car. <laughs> okay, the good news is at this point, it's pretty much out of my hands. It is. And I mean, it's good, because now you only have to pay $500. $500 deductible, yeah. Instead of your radiator just having a hole and not being covered. That's true. We gotta find the bright side. But honestly, at the end of the day, it was all worth it. I'm so happy I made it to the wedding. I'm so happy I got to see my friends and celebrate another big moment and Honestly, I'll remember this later, but I'll get out of it. I've been in worse. I've been in worse. I'll check back with y'all later, but just know, just know, it gets better. It gets better. The story gets better. <laughs> All right, bye. I want to find me a fucking sugar daddy. I need a real man to step up to the fucking plate and take care of <laughs> I need a real man to step to the mother freaking front line and yeah, take you over. Say he, he's talking about he about to go get some Viagra so y'all can punch him. He said he wanted to make love, L O V E. When I go ahead and run off on my own. Where are you finna go? Don't worry. Look, look at her. Look at the way she's looking at me, questioning me. Look mm -hmm. at her. <laughs> and your mom gonna beat your ass. Yes, she, she is. is. Let me not. Let me fucking stop. Go ahead. Oh, Jesus, take the wheel. Thank you for calling Enterprise Rent a Car. All calls will be recorded. It is day five of me being stuck in Homestead, but I was able to get a rental so I can leave. I'm about to go get it at 1 p.m. It is 11:48. I'm so happy to be leaving. 
<laughs> obviously i'll be back here to get puff daddy but ugh, yes y'all i woke up today and i said and declared and decided today will be a great day today will be a great day and things have just been working in my favor yesterday i was looking for a rental car and i wasn't able to book one online but today i was able to book one online and cheaper so it's gonna be a great day i'm about to be on the road and yeah that's it so stay tuned and we'll see what happens next all right y'all so i just got home here's the vehicle that got me here safe and sound so i'm about to go inside and get my life <laughs> and get ready for the next step which is dropping this car off so i'll check back with y'all in a bit all right, y'all, I made it back to the house. Suki has been talking up a storm. This poor flower arrangement, I'm gonna try to revive it and pull it into this vase with maybe hoping some water will help because it's so pretty and it's been through so much with me. So we'll see, we'll pray for the best. There she is. I'm back in the saddle. I'm editing this video but usually I start off with just clipping out any of the chunks that aren't gonna be in the video and then I just keep kind of clipping from there. So I'm almost done. Then I'll go back and add sound effects and music and pictures, wherever, and we should be good to go. I can schedule it today most likely and move on to the next video for Ebony in Florida, which is gonna be the wedding vlog and then just keep on shipping off the block from there. And that's pretty much gonna be the rest of my night, you guys. I'm eating on these almonds, y'all. If you have not tried these Blue Diamond Smokehouse almonds, oh my God, you are missing out. They are so delicious. They are so good, I highly recommend them. But yes, y'all, that's pretty much what's about to happen. I might actually drive to my P.O. box later. I haven't checked it in a few weeks and I just wanna have any excuse to drive the Jeep, to be honest. <laughs> So I'm like, let me run all my errands now because the weather has finally gotten sunny. But yeah, thanks for spending this time with me. If you like this video, let me quit eating first. Make sure you slam that like button, give me a big thumbs up, leave me a comment, and just to say hey. Share with a friend and hit that subscribe button, turn on those bell notifications so you know when I post. That's it, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye. We yeah. ain't yeah. What we gonna do? I don't remember what I'm gonna say. And I said that I'm gonna come out of this in a bit.